Hey, it's the Footy Coach here. I was going to make a video on the Manchester City versus Arsenal game yesterday, We're, but I think from a tactical sense, there wasn't really much to say. Arsenal defended amazingly. Manchester City just had difficulty breaking them down and in the final third, they didn't really do that well. Uh, Arsenal came to play for a draw. That's what I believe. You know, I think it was a good result for them. If you're looking at the Premier League table now, this is what it looks like. Liverpool a couple of points clear of Arsenal and they're three clear of Manchester City as well. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to run a predictor and we're going to look at what could be the final outcome of the season. So it's just a guessing game. You can all take part, of course. I'm going to post the link in the comments. Please add what your final prediction is going to be of the top three. Aston Villa are a bit further behind and they've played an extra game than everyone else. So I don't think they're involved in the title race. If you have a quick look here at some predictions of what a computer thinks is going to be the final result of the season. Weirdly, it says Arsenal have a 90 9.8% chance of being in the Champions League. So I'm not sure where they've got that from. But looking at the win percentages, it seems Liverpool and Manchester City are still the favourites. Something I did hear was that all the games that Arsenal have left are games that they won last season. But of course, it's a different season, different players, different teams. I'm using one, which is an Ipswich Town fan site. And it's pretty cool that they've done this. There's plenty of others, but we're going to go through this. Let's have a little bit of a guess. Yes. One thing I will say, coaches are very bad at predictions. I'm very bad at predictions, very bad at fantasy football, and very bad at predicting what the outcome of games are going to be. So whatever I predict here is probably not going to happen. However, let's start with Arsenal versus Luton. I'm going to say Arsenal win, let's say 3-1. I think this will be an easy win for them. Now, Manchester City versus Aston Villa is a bit more complicated because Aston Villa were the team who had the most impressive performance against Manchester City this season. Though that was at Villa Park, the way Villa played that day, was outstanding. They, I think Manchester City had two shots in the entire game and they were both before the 11th minute. And But Villa haven't been playing that well recently. Still expecting a Manchester City win. You know, they'll probably fix some of the things that happened against uh, Arsenal. So we'll go 2-1 here. Um, I think Liverpool will beat Sheffield United easily. You know, it'll probably be 3-0, let's say. Um, big game on the weekend for Arsenal going down to Brighton Hall for Albion. And Brighton looked pretty good yesterday against Liverpool. Uh, this could be a game where Arsenal drop points but at the same time I feel like Brighton's strike force without Jao Pedro is kind of struggling. You know, Danny Welbeck scored a goal but he's not a great goal scorer. Evan Ferguson since his injuries he seems to have just gone lackluster. So I'll give Arsenal the benefit of the doubt you know I think they'll win 2-1 here. Now Palace versus Manchester City is the game that I think will crop up Manchester City. Crystal Palace seem to have some sort of voodoo curse over Manchester City. They're the team one of the teams that actually tries to play against Manchester City and attacks them. They've got a good young team and they've got a new manager so maybe he won't approach the game like Roy Hudson did but we can have a I'm gonna say they're gonna draw go for 1-1 this is the game that's gonna be drawn then we've got the big game of the weekend Manchester United versus Liverpool in my personal opinion the FA Cup game I think United played well for the first 20 minutes and for about 10 minutes afterwards in the rest of the 120 minutes Liverpool just didn't take their chances they dominated United I think they're gonna turn up at Old Trafford and they're not gonna make the same mistake again I think they're gonna score quite a few goals but I'll go for 3-1 I still expect United to get a goal Liverpool seem to concede goals if I was to predict this I would say that United will score first and then Liverpool will score three on to City versus Luton um, let's just have a I think this is an easy win for Manchester City you know Luton have been pretty they've been letting in goals a lot they do score and they're an exciting team to watch I'm gonna go for 4-1 here um, Arsenal Aston Villa again Villa's away record isn't that good and but they're still Arsenal not have any problems with Villa but it's a difficult one um, let's go 2-1 Arsenal Liverpool versus Palace I think Liverpool enjoy playing against Palace it's one of the teams they enjoy playing against especially at Anfield again I think Palace will score teams do score against Liverpool 2-1 now Tottenham Manchester City this is a big one because Tottenham like Crystal Palace are a team who enjoy taking points off uh, Manchester City and the way that Posta Koglu plays I could see this is a game where Tottenham actually win um, high scoring one as well I'm going to go 3-2 Wolves versus Arsenal Wolves are at home been a very difficult team for 
everyone really. Um, Gary O'Neill, really rate him as a manager, good coach. I think he'll do a good job here and I think they'll get a point. And Fulham versus Liverpool, Fulham uh, are a team that caused Liverpool problems. I think this is a game where Liverpool will drop points as well. So I'm going to go for the 1-1 option here too. Um, Arsenal versus Chelsea. Chelsea do not look like a good football team. They've got this young team, Mauricio Pochettino is, I don't, I don't know what to make of the guy. You know, he's the guy who failed to win a league title at PSG. Uh, but I think Arsenal will win this and I think they'll win handsomely as well. So I'm going to go for 3-1. Um, Everton versus Liverpool. Everton are awful. They're in the worst run of form in, I think it's like a decade or something. Uh, Liverpool will just go there and they'll just spank them and I think it'll just be like 3-0. I don't even think Everton will score. Brighton versus Manchester City. I always feel like the Manchester City Brighton games are like a big pep versus mini pep sort of game. So I'm going to go for Manchester City win here. I think they'll win 2-1. Um, West Ham versus Liverpool. West Ham at the weekend. What were they doing? I don't know what, what is happening with David Moyes and his team. They look spectacular and then they look absolutely awful in the same game. I think Liverpool will just go there and, you know, and, and with this running at the time, I think, I think they'll just go there and win. Um, I'll go for 3-1. Forest versus Man City. Forest, not sure what to make of them. They're just about keeping their heads above the relegation zone due to the points deduction. Thinking about this, it should be an easy Manchester City win, but we'll call it 2-1. Spurs versus Arsenal. Now, this is the another interesting game here in Tottenham. They do seem to be playing better at the moment. You know, they've got players coming out from injury. Richarlison's just come back. And uh, I think I'm going to go for a draw here. I think I'll go for a North London derby 2-2, which seems fair. And then the weekend after, I think Arsenal will just walk over Bournemouth 3-0. I think Liverpool will beat Spurs at Anfield. Um, I feel like part the way Postacoglu plays is kind of how what Liverpool enjoy. Like with 10 men earlier in the season, Liverpool should have won that game. Of course, they had the goal disallowed and the stupid red cards. So I think it'll be high scoring though. So 3-1. Um, City lost to Wolves earlier in the season, but this is a home game. I think, you know, Wolves will go there. They'll get a goal. Again, with Wolves, it depends. With these games they've got against Arsenal, Liverpool, Manchester City, depends if they have Pedro Neto back, Cunha back. They're missing quite a few players. Scores could be different depending on that. Um, Villa versus Liverpool, I think it'll be a draw. Liverpool enjoyed playing against Aston Villa earlier in the season because of the way, again, like Spurs, the way Villa set their team up. They play this kind of like hybrid, high line, but they don't press. And Spurs do the kind of a similar thing and they just leave space for the pace of Nunes, Salah, Diaz. And when you've got someone like McAllister playing the ball through kind of makes it easier but I'll go for 1-1 one, one here Fulham versus Man City if Man City is still in the Champions League at this point all these fixtures could be having an impact same with Arsenal as well but I think Man City will go Fulham and win Manchester United versus Arsenal will uh, will Manchester United turn up I mean they've not turned up for an entire game at any point this season Is it? this will be probably Eric Ten Hag's penultimate game so let's just say let's just say Manchester United want to do their rivals over and actually I think they'll win. Arsenal versus Everton. I think Arsenal will pump four or five past Everton. If I could go higher, I would go higher here. Yeah. I think Everton is just shit. Liverpool will get a sneaky, close win over Wolverhampton on the final day. 90th minute goal by someone who shouldn't be scoring like Joe Gomez. And Manchester City will beat West Ham 3-1. All right, let's calculate this and see what happens. Oi. So that's the final result. I've got Liverpool winning by four points on 90 from Manchester City on 86 and Arsenal on 85. Obviously, if all three teams win all of their games as they're not playing each other, then I think it'll be 94, 92, 91 they would end up on. So I've got them all dropping a few points. Please do go to this independent Ipswich Town website and do your own calculation. Drop your prediction in the comment section that would be amazing and that's all that's all from me this time I'm gonna try to do more different types of videos like this hope you've enjoyed this video please do like and subscribe thank you for watching